Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Guntur Medical College, Department of Anatomy. In this dissection video, we will see the inguinal canal. So this dissection of the inguinal canal, we will see. Inguinal canal is a musculoaponeurotic canal above the medial half of the inguinal ligament. So I, we have seen the medial inguinal ligament in the yesterday's dissection video. So this is the inguinal ligament. Above the medial half of the inguinal ligament, we have the inguinal canal, about 4 cm long and it is narrow in females. Now, this inguinal canal contains anterior wall, posterior wall, roof, floor. We will see the boundaries and it has two openings, superficial inguinal ring and deep inguinal ring. So, we will now see the boundaries. So, anterior wall, now we will dissect. This inguinal canal is formed due to the descent of the testis so this muscles are formed along the processus vaginalis so this inguinal canal extends from deep to superficial so we are the students have to understand the boundaries clearly so this is the inguinal canal boundary so i will show first canal so this is the canal it has two openings so this is the inlet and this is the outlet this inlet is deeper, deep inguinal ring and this is the outlet, superficial inguinal ring. Now it has the boundaries, anterior wall. So this anterior wall is formed by the, entirely by the aponeurosis of the external oblique. Are you seeing this is the entirely by the aponeurosis of the external oblique. If you lift this, in the lateral part, this is the fleshy fibers of the internal oblique taking origin from the inguinal ligament. I have incised to show this. So, this is entirely by the aponeurosis of external oblique and laterally by the fleshy fibers of the internal oblique. So, this is the anterior wall, two, two parts we have seen. Now, if you see the posterior wall. So posterior wall, what you are seeing, so this is the fascia transversalis. So posterior wall is formed by the fascia transversalis. If you see in the medial most part, so the inguinal ligament will form the lacunar ligament in the medial part. So that is another boundary. And this is the, what you are seeing, this is the, yes, this is the conjoint tendon. So medial, medial most part of this posterior wall is formed by the conjoint tendon and by the reflected part of the inguinal ligament. So these are the posterior wall you are seeing. Reflected part of inguinal ligament and conjoint tendon and fascia transversalis. If you see the roof, so this is the roof. Arched fibers of the internal oblique and transversus abdominis. So this is the arched fibers of the internal oblique and transversus abdominis forms the roof. If you see the floor, so this is the inguinal ligament. This has a grooved upper surface. So that is forming the floor for this contents of the inguinal canal. So floor is formed by the grooved upper surface of the inguinal ligament and by the lacunar ligament. So we have seen the anterior wall formed by this external oblique aponeurosis, fleshy fibers of internal oblique, posterior wall formed by the fascia transversalis and by the reflected part of the inguinal ligament and by the conjoint tendon. Arch roof is formed by this arched fibers of internal oblique and transverse abdominis. Floor is formed by the inguinal ligament and by the lacunar ligament. Now we will see the inlet. So this inlet, inlet is this. If that is the opening in the fascia transversalis 1.25 centimeters above the mid inguinal point. So this is the deep inguinal ring. And superficial inguinal ring is a gap in the external oblique aponeurosis we have seen yesterday. Dissection in the anterior abdominal wall we have seen. It has two crura, medial crura and lateral crura. Medial crura is attached to the pubic symphysis and the lateral crura is attached to the pubic tubercle. If you see the relation of this deep inguinal ring and you can see this artery, are you seeing this is the inferior epigastric artery. Inferior epigastric artery is medial to the deep inguinal ring. 
otherwise the for the surgeons this is this artery is important if the neck of the sac is lateral to that that is the indirect inguinal hernia if the neck of the sac is lying hernial sac is lying medial to that that is the direct inguinal hernia or you seeing this is the inferior epigastric artery which is forming the medial relation to the deep inguinal vein even the inguinal triangle of hasselbeck is easy to understand now with this this is the lateral border of rectus abdominis and this is the inguinal ligament and this is the inferior epigastric artery if the herniation occurs in this that is inguinal triangle of hasselbeck that is the direct inguinal hernia the contents of this inguinal canal you can see this is the spermatic cord in the males and round ligament of the uterus in the female along with this ilioinguinal nerve or you seeing this is along with the ilioinguinal this spermatic cord is the full content that means comes from the deep inguinal ring and up to the superficial inguinal this ilioinguinal nerve is the partial content because it enters the canal by passing through the posterior wall of the inguinal canal so two important contents in the canal spermatic cord in the males and round ligament of female uh, uterus in the females and the ilioinguinal nerve so we have completed the boundaries of the inguinal canal and this dissection video is very much important as this uh, small canal boundaries it is difficult for the students but if you see it very it is an interesting topic as this canal is a preformed canal during the descent of the testes and the muscles are developing around this uh, spermatic cord so this is the anterior boundary external oblique aponeurosis fleshy fibers of internal oblique posterior boundary fascia transversalis conjoint tendon and reflected part of the inguinal ligament floor is this inguinal ligament and lacunar ligament roof is this arched fibers of internal oblique and transverse abdominis this inlet is this deep inguinal ring and outlet is this superficial inguinal contents are the spermatic cord in the males and round ligament of uterus in the females and the ilioinguinal i hope you should have understood this important topic with the next dissection video we will see in the next thank you